Welcome back to Switched to Linux. Well, today we're going to be looking at installing and setting up Budgie on Debian. We're going to be using our Debian bookworm. Now, for this and the going forward video tutorials, I've actually set up Debian on a spare hard drive I have floating around here. So we can do things like setting up Time Machine, which are much harder to do in a virtual machine because of space constraints and other things like that. So keep those suggestions coming. I do actually have a pile of things we are going to be doing with Debian. People have asked about Time Machine. I've been asked about a few different um, uh, desktop environments or window managers. I've also been asked about flat pack snaps and things like that. So we're going to do the whole range of tutorials on this particular uh, channel here. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take our Debian just as we had it last time. We have our Debian set up. We have our main user in the sudo group. And now we're going to install the budgie desktop, but we're also going to install some more themes, cursors, and icon packs because Debian by default does not bring in any icon packs or whatever else with any of the desktop environments you install. And most of them are pretty ugly out of the box and so, or have the tendency to be so. And we're going to go ahead and fix those problems on here. And hopefully this will help you solve the problems. Of course, many, many, many desktop environments can be installed on Debian on top of the official ones they give you on the net installer. And so this video will hopefully give you a little bit of encouragement to experiment with desktop environments. We're going to be looking at Budgie, but we'll go ahead and install some other ones in the future as well. So keep on leaving those comments down below what you'd like me to do with this Debian build so we can keep these tutorials coming. So let's go ahead and jump on over to our computer build and see what we have from there. All right, so that now that we have landed on our Debian system, what we're going to do is we're going to install the Budgie desktop, and then we're going to make sure we add a few extra themes. Because if there's one thing about installing any desktop environment on Debian, it brings with it the core files. It does not generally bring with it any theming, and that can make things look a little bit ugly. So what we're going to do here is we'll start in with our terminal here. So what we're going to do to get this uh, working is we're going to do sudo apt first thing we want to do is make sure that we are updated and have updates installed so we're going to go ahead and run a sudo apt update and it should be up to date which it is so now we are going to do a sudo apt install and to do the budgie desktop we're going to do budgie dash budgie dash desktop this is going to want to download some extra disk space, um, and then it's going to use a total of like 30 megabytes extra of disk space is what it told us. So now it is downloading a bunch of stuff and uh, getting everything installed. All right, so now that that is installed, what we need to do is we're going to log out of GNOME and log into Budgie. So we're going to come down here and go to log out and then hit log out. And then this is going to bring us back to our login screen. All right, so now on our login screen, we're going to click in on our user here. And then you have this little gear down here at the bottom, and this is going to give you all of your options. So we have our Budgie desktop. Of course, we have our GNOME. And then we go on GNOME on X, and there's a few other options there. Let's go ahead and grab your GNOME there, or your Budgie desktop, excuse me. That's what we're doing. And we're going to go ahead and get logged back in here. Now on Budgie, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the settings here first. Now, you'll notice that there are two settings here at Budgie. The one that just says settings, this is your GNOME software settings. So since Budgie is built on top of GNOME, that's what you're going to see, and that's exactly where you find that. The other settings you're going to find is the one specific to Budgie. So this is going to set our widget themes, which is basically what everything around here looks like. It's going to set styling, icons, cursors. It's also going to go into your desktops. Do you want to show your desktop icons? And uh, which icons would you like to show? The number of virtual desktops that you use, that's all available over here. The Raven, this is your Raven bar. This is going to tell what is over here. So the calendar, the sound output over here. We have our sound input and we have our media controls. There's no apps playing anything. But if we were to play some app, some something like a VLC, you'd get the media controls over there. And then we also control the panels. So we can drop down here some uh, a variety of different items from our panel. Here's caffeine. Here's an icon task list. 
And so let's go ahead and add the icon task list down there at the bottom. Oh, we already have that, actually. Let's not do that. Now we'll just show you how to remove one, I guess. Come over here, highlight it, push this. It's going to remove it. And let me see what else we have over here. Here's our places. Raven trigger, show desktop button, system tray, task list. That's the one that I like. So we'll go ahead and add task list. But I don't want it in the center. We're going to put it over there on the side. So there you have there. And then let's see what else we have down here we might want to use. Workspace switcher. I personally don't use workspaces generally. So we're going to leave those off there. And so there you have it. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have a brief look at, here's your set panel settings, by the way, if you want to increase the spacing or tile and stuff. Now, what we want to do here, though, is we want to get into our um, settings, make everything look good. Since this is about getting Budgie installed and set up, it's installed. It's not really set up. Now, there's a lot of these different options over here. One of the problems that some people will, uh, will oftentimes do getting around here and you plug into this is uh, if you go to like widgets, you pull it down, you get high contrast, and you can't ever turn it off. And there are people like, ah, how do you do that? It's bright white. It's killing me. And um, this is a common thing because Debian just does not bring any of those themes with it. So if you happen to set yourself onto, uh, onto that, what you're going to do is you have to do this in a terminal. You're going to boot up a terminal, and you are going to run this command, G settings, and you're going to do reset. And you're going to do org gnome desktop with dots in between and interface and then GTK dash theme. And that's going to go ahead and reset everything. So what we want to do is we want to add some themes in here so that we don't actually have that happening. You'll see we have gnome and high color icons. We don't have any other general theming. So let's go ahead and talk about how to install some themes first. Now, you can do this in the terminal as well, uh, but there's a, a more GUI place as well. Of course, in the terminal, if you do a sudo apt search and you search for gtk-theme, this is going to give you the options of themes that are available. Let me go ahead and expand this guy here. You can see we have Blackbird, GTK theme. We have Darkbird. We have Blackbird. We have a number of, uh, of different ones. You can actually read better than I can because when I run my capture card, I can't see like the last half inch of the screen. <laughs> Make it a little, just a little bit big to that point. I can read everything there too. All right. There we are. That's, that's a little bit better. All right, so there's Bluebird, Blackbird, Breeze, Dark Blood. So you can install any of these from here. But the other place you can actually go, Debian has a Synaptic Package Manager. You're not going to find those themes, by the way, on your software store. So don't bother looking for them over there. So what we're going to do, though, is we'll just go ahead and just make this big enough that I can see. Do a search for GTK-theme. Do a search for these. And you'll see these are the, all those same options. So I can look at this and go, oh, Numix, modern flat theme. All right, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to mark that for install. We've got dark cold. Let's do that. Let's do gray bird. And let's see, material design. All right, let's go ahead and do that. But themes, uh, we might want more than themes. So you can also do the same thing with icon themes. So do icon dash theme. And you can do a search for here. Here's your breeze. Of course, popular ones. Uh, paper and papyrus are popular. Um, I did sugar just for testing. Don't do sugar. It's these weird, massive, ugly-looking things. But you can go ahead and do that. Oxygen is more of a, uh, if you're not familiar with oxygen, it's um, um, a very um, uh, skeuomorphic type theme. So you can go ahead and install those. And then you can see we have other themes for different things. Elementary icon theme, if you like the ones in elementary. The deepen icons are over there. So there's a number of different things there as well. And then, of course, we can also do cursor themes. Although I did find there uh, are not a ton of good cursor themes available. So if we were to install all of these guys, we still don't get a lot of good cursors, which is very sad. But... Uh, 
we'll just go ahead and install a few of those just for sake. All right, so now that we have that, go ahead and push the apply button. It's going to give you a list of everything that's going to be installed. Basically, we are installing some GTK themes, and we are installing some icon themes and some cursors. So this is going to take a few minutes to finish installing. And once this guy finishes installing, then you'll be able to pull up those GNOME settings and make some adjustments. All right, so it is done. So we're going to go ahead and close that up. And then we can close up Synaptic. And now we're going to pull up our Budgie desktop settings. And now when we pull these down, we have new options. So we are not just going to be locked onto high contrast. So here we are. We can go ahead and uh, do that. And then... Here's what your menu is going to look like there. Now there's the built-in theme. If you turn this off, it's going to use your widgets icon theme for that. If you turn it on, it's going to go kind of back to uh, Budgie's built-in theming system there. So there's your new mix. Here's your Orcus. Here's your Orcus Light. Orcus Light Compact. Of course, they're all dark. I don't, I don't know why every single budgie theme is dark, <laughs> other than the high contrast. There you go. There's your light one. <laughs> all right. Uh, here's your Greyberg. Okay, Greyberg's actually not not horrible. So, if you do want something that's not super dark, go ahead and ch choose that one there. Greybird. Uh, here's your Greybird Dark, and then Dark Cold. I actually don't like the skeuomorphism on the menu on that one, but it is kind of a, a night looking one. And then I think I didn't, I don't think we installed the dark blood, but that one's very much like the dark blood with, uh, uh, with, uh, red instead of blue. Now your icons, we have a variety of different icons. So here's your papyrus icons now. E papyrus. Is that what you might find on a Kindle? I don't know. Here's your back to your old boring gnome ones. There's obsidian, and then we have a few different colors for the obsidian one. And then here's your oxygen, super skeuomorphic ones. And then here's your papyrus, kind of like your modern flat. And then for your cursors, here we have... These ones are nice ones here. I don't mind these. And here's your obsidian and your paper and your old classic Adwaita. So there we have it. We have a, a nice way. There we go. That, I like that one. That's pretty fun. Let's see. Is there a amber classic? Let's see if there's like a blue one or something there. Okay. Well, we'll go with that. All right. So there we have it. So there is adding in your uh, installing budgie getting it configured, and then adding themes and styles so you can actually make it look really pretty so you're not going to be stuck with um, stuck with a, an ugly system there. So there's the conclusion. We have everything installed. We have everything looking nice and pretty. Now we're ready to use the system, maybe install some software. I think next we're going to talk about flat flat packs, snaps, maybe some app images if we can. And we'll go ahead and uh, talk about those going up, going forward. So we have a wide range of software available in the next videos. But with that, let me know any other thoughts that you have in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.